Hi, I'm Cindy Kruger, and today I'm going to show you how to balance your VAT and Legal Suite. To access the VAT summary screen, you click on your business ledger icon, which is your third icon on your top toolbar. You're then going to click on the SARS icon, which is the fourth icon here, and the VAT summary screen is going to open. Here you can select the as that recommended, or you can select the range. In this example, I'm going to select range, and you click on display. What the system will then show is it will show your input and your output VAT. The receiver of revenue requires that you separate your output VAT that you charge your clients from the input VAT that you're claiming back. So you can see the system automatically separates the input and output VAT for you. Now what's going to happen is your auditors are going to come and they're going to want to know why your, imp your imp output VAT does not equal the income on your income and expense report. So I'm going to explain that to you. When VAT was introduced, the issue of disbursement invoices created a huge debate and software vendors like LegalSuite were given a choice of A, either charging the client's VAT output and claiming the VAT input, or B, not charging VAT on disbursements and forwarding the disbursement invoice to the clients. But due to the large volumes of disbursements that attorneys receive, LegalSuite decided to take the first option as it was easier for our clients to operate and implement. So what happens with a creditor disbursement? When you're capturing a creditor disbursement, you're debiting your matter and you're crediting the creditor. So you, there's no entry that's going through to your business ledger. So what LegalSuite did was we created a disbursement recovery account. So when the creditor disbursement is captured, there's an output and an input entry that goes to your disbursement recovery account in your business ledger. So let's take for example what the one that we've got on screen here. The first option is output other and it's showing that the amount due, uh, the, the amount of the output is 9,560 Rand. If I now go to print my trial balance, you do that by clicking on the printer, this will open the report screen for you. And under the business section, you're going to find your trial balance. You say print. Okay, you can select which period you want to print it for. And you say OK. The report will drop down to the bottom toolbar. There you'll open it. And you'll see here, for example, that there's a fee income account here, but it only shows the amount of income is being 4,560 Rand. So now the auditor is going to query and say, but hang on, your VAT summary screen says 9,560 Rand, but your income account only says 4,560 Rand. Why is there a 5,000 Rand difference? And just to show you on this report, here's your disbursement recovery account. This should always be zero because when LegalSuite puts the transactions through to the disbursement recovery account on creditor disbursements, it's both an in and an out. So the, this account should always have a zero balance. The only reason why it will have a balance on it is if someone is posted directly to the disbursement recovery account. So now we're going to go and look and see why does our VAT 201 or our VAT summary screen say 9,560 Rand. And what you're going to do is you're going to use a report that we've created. So if you go to the reports button again, and you go to the VAT option, here's a list of all the various VAT reports that we have. But the one we're going to use to tie back your VAT output is the VAT ledger account versus VAT type excluding report. So you'll highlight that and you'll say print. Here you have various filter options. So for example, under business, you can select selected accounts or income and expense accounts. I'm going to set mine to all, which is suggested because it's then going to show you exactly what makes up those the, the VAT in, in the system. VAT you can then choose if you want just output, if you want output all. I'm going to leave mine as all. And I'm leaving my mine as a current period because remember when I calculated the VAT, I had period 12 to period 12. And I'm going to say OK. The system will then print the report. And if you have a look at the report, you'll see it breaks it down nicely for you. It shows you the disbursement recovery account of 5,000 Rand and it shows you the fee income of 4,560 Rand, giving you a total of 9,560 Rand, which is exactly what the system has calculated in the VAT summary screen. So if we have a look here, there's a 9,560 Rand. 
So you can see straight away that there was a creditor disbursement that was posted of 5,000 Rand and then your income was 4,560 Rand. So your VAT is in balance. So remember when your auditor queries your VAT, your report that you're going to be using is under VAT and it's called the ledger account versus VAT type excluding report.